Today we are in Southern California visiting the Tremec electric GT guys to discover this Defender 90, a pretty rare one being a North American spec one. So it went from V8 to fully electric and not only they have converted it to electric but they fully restored it. So let's check it out. So David, thank you very much for showing us this fantastic 90. So you were telling me off camera, you fully restored the 90 and then installed your drivetrain. So let's go back to the when you got the car and how it come to become what it is. Yeah, of course. So when we got the vehicle, of course, it was a little bit run down over the years, but we did a full uh, strip of the actual uh, vehicle itself, powder coated the original frame. We got the original transfer case from the Defender and all the interior got redone, but we tried to keep as many original components as we okay. could for the vehicle. So we need to mention that's not something you typically do. It's because it's a development car that you redid all what ne needed to be done. Typically, you would sell the system to the trade uh, and they would restore. Yeah, correct. Okay. Um, the, this is one of our uh, research cars or development cars just to see what it is needed to be done, what could be fitted into the actual vehicle okay. itself. So we're trying to develop a drop-in system or a solution for anybody with a classic vehicle that wants to run it on the newer technology. Okay, good stuff. So let's go back to the drivetrain. Original transfer box, mm -hmm. but the transmission is new and then your drivetrain comes and complement it. Yeah, so the uh, transmission that we're using is a Tronic 4050 uh, bolted into the, uh, the transfer case itself, the original from the vehicle. Um, so we got four wheel drive on it, um, all components in the vehicle. Okay. Tell us everything about this uh, system. Well, with this system, we kind of wanted to retain as many functionalities as you can with the original vehicle. So we have AC, we have heater, uh, we do have electrical power steering to assist with uh, the weight of this vehicle. But in the front, we have our 12 module uh, pack system. In all in total, this is a seven kilowatt system, which is mated to that uh, Tramic 4050. It pushes out around 410 foot pounds of torque to the transmission and it's all packaged together in one drop-in system as how we wanted to design it. So because you design everything, you manage the cooling system and, and VCU, BMS. Correct. Tell us a bit more. Yeah, so we're running AEM BMS and an AEM VCU uh, for the system. Everything's controlled through the computer through AEM Cal. Um, but with it, with it, we're able to see all the individual cells, all the information, any faults or anything like that that may be occurring with the system to make sure it's all running or if there's any problems, we can go ahead and attend to it. Um, we do have our high voltage junction box, which basically has all your important contactors to turn, uh, to open to allow you to use the, uh, the system properly okay. and safely. So uh, will, th will it be a common option to keep the manual um, gearbox? Uh, yeah, it's uh, an option. We do have a custom uh, billet adapter plate to go to the uh, 4050 on there. If you wish to go with direct drive, there is a way to do it. We just do a full uh, drive shot to the rear diff. So David, you have an interesting uh, configuration for the battery pack. Could you let us more about it? Yeah, so additionally to the 12 mod that we have in the front, um, we actually have uh, what we call saddle packs mounted on the side of the vehicle just to be able to get a little bit more juice out of our system or at least range. And with that, we also do have a nine module located in the back of the vehicle um, bolted up to it. So how do you manage to cool everything if it's in four split uh, packs? Yeah, so with our systems, we actually have two separate pumps, uh, one to cool all the actual components itself, the inverter, the motor, um, the OVC, DC, DC, and then we have a separate one for the actual battery packs. All right, with the added weight of the batteries, did you have to work on the suspension? Yeah, so the suspension, we had to beef it up a little bit to be able to handle the new weight and also to actually level the vehicle itself so it's not hanging to one side. So all the parts and components that we mainly use for the restoration on this vehicle was provided by Rovers North. David, what are the options as far as charging the Defender? Well, for the Defender, we do have Type 1 charging at the moment. It's a J1772. Uh, so with the 6.6 .6 kilowatt uh, charging uh, module that we have in this system, we're able roughly to charge around 30 amps, I believe. Okay. And what's the future for this? The future is to basically move over to the new type of fast charging that's available. Everybody's looking and nobody wants to sit around. So we are currently working on developing and setting up and integrating type two and fast charging with our drop-in solutions. All right, Dave, let's take this for a spin. 
Uh, on this occasion, we cannot test the car because this is a customer car. Incorrect. But you can drive it and you can show us how it performs. Yeah, so I mean, with this vehicle system, we're running everything through an AEM uh, dash display. Yeah. So we get all our information. Uh, you can customize the gauges. You can get all information for pack, cell, voltage, all together. And do a little knob, put it in the third gear because there's too much torque for first and second. And we're off. So, yeah, basically with the uh, system that we have set up, it's mated to our 40, the 4050 from Tremec. Yes. Um, obviously, a lot of people, when it comes to EVs or classic cars, everybody wants a stick shift. Yeah. So, with our adapter, we were able to mate it to your standard five-speed manual uh, transmission. But you could drive it as an automatic if you stick it in third and correct third yeah. technically you want to keep it maybe in fourth, fourth? if you're doing okay. city driving if All you're right. on the freeway put it in fifth gear and yeah. you're just straight on cruising but it's like a, any or, or any normal like manual transmission vehicle you get up to speed sound the uh sound of the rpms clutch in all right easy shift yeah and shift That's quite fast for a Land Rover Defender. Uh, big old tires, big old body, and battery packs. What a fantastic solution from the Tremec Electric GT guys. So not only this system works for the Defender 19110, but also on any large 4x4. So I look forward to maybe in the future take one of them off-road. But they've got something else for us, a Porsche. Uh, so that's also something we'll come and visit again. So if you want to learn more about Electric GT, visit electricgt.com and tell us more what you want to see more on the channel. Give us a like and subscribe and guys, I'll see you in the next one.